loving my life. Hi guys, thanks so much for coming back to watch a video. In this video, I'll share with you my, my first trimester pregnancy symptoms. Yay! Okay, so a little disclaimer. This is my body, my pregnancy, so my symptoms may be different from somebody else's. I'm just sharing with you my experience for the first trimester. Okay guys, so let's jump right into the video. All right, so my symptoms started at around six weeks and I was like researching, you know, different ways to relieve nausea because that's what I was feeling during the first, like during the first, well, the six week mark. At first, everything was cool. Okay, I took a pregnancy test the day that I missed my period or whatever. So it was positive. I was fine. It wasn't nothing wrong with me. I was okay. I'm like, okay. So it was like a faint line and I will insert a clip of the pregnancy test somewhere so so i took maybe four i want to say but um and the line was so faint to the point like i would take the pregnancy test apart and then hold it up to the light just to make sure like is this a real line or not so it was definitely two lines so it was positive and then around the six week mark i started getting so nauseous like so nauseated I would feel like super sick to my stomach kind of like if you um go on a boat and the boat is like sailing back and forth back and forth that's and then you start to feel sick that's how I felt or if you get on a roller coaster and you go down real fast and you feel sick that's how I felt so I was researching like some natural things to do in order for me not to feel sick and then I came across these mama c bands and what they are are like bracelets but they're this acupuncture um thing right here so once you put them on it'll it's supposed to hit a pressure point of your uh nausea um symptom something like that okay so these bands i will wear every single day on both wrists and it was supposed to like relieve my nausea but it never worked like I always would feel sick and then um, I started to you know throw up but I wasn't throwing up every single day I was throwing up like maybe every other day or every two days or something like that and then I also noticed that sometimes I would throw up more so at night versus in the morning so I'm like okay well this something gotta give so I'm like okay yeah so I started off with the nausea and then um around like eight weeks or so i was getting so tired like i was always tired i had to sit down and cook like i didn't have no energy i had to literally sit down and cook like and then i have twin daughters who's four so it was very challenging to like comb their hair put them in a tub i had to like really force myself to do those duties which is like crazy right but yeah i noticed that and then I also noticed that I was laying down in my bed a lot so I would just tell my daughters to come in bed with me and like grab their phones and they can like watch YouTube or you know grab toys and stuff or crayons and color just while I laid down because I just wasn't feeling well and they didn't understand so um, yeah I noticed that I had no energy I was just so super tired to the point like dude this is like ridiculous I would go to bed at 8 o'clock p.m. literally sleep tired and then wake up at like 6 o'clock and still be exhausted and tired so then I noticed um, that I didn't have no appetite at first so I'm a coffee drinker I love my coffee in the morning I would have a cup of coffee every morning before pregnancy but now like I try to drink coffee and I just can't tolerate the taste I don't like the smell of it or anything like that so I can't have coffee, which sucks. So whatever. Um, and then I also used to like to get, you know, my McDonald's in the morning, my fast food. But I can't have any McDonald's or fast food. I remember one day I went to McDonald's and I got like the big breakfast. And I was like, I just can't. Like I tried to eat the meat and I just spit it out. It was disgusting. And then I also tried to get like a biscuit, a sausage and cheese biscuit, which that's what I usually like to eat. Couldn't eat it. It was just disgusting, nasty. I'm like... Uh, uh, this gotta go. 
the smell it just smelled like poop to me it was just gross. around like my 10 week mark i started noticing that i crave and it's so weird um mountain dew slushies or ices or whatever you want to call it so i usually go to speedway or taco bell and i'll get the mountain dew one and i get that monday through friday every morning so that like replace my coffee which I love and it's cold now here where I live and it's snow outside and I still go get my dang icy slushy every morning before work so that's what I like to get I also love um, the cheese munchy chips so I usually have my my little frosty well icy whatever you call it in the morning and then I eat a couple of the munchy chips and then I also notice that I can eat sour patch kids so it's so weird but I just love the three of those together I don't know I literally don't know why but that's what I love okay so some more symptoms um, I noticed that I was bloated a lot and y'all when I tell y'all my stomach itch it literally itch I don't know what to get for it but the skin on my stomach itch so bad and I, I scratch it and it burn after I scratch it but then I put lotion on it I think I'm gonna try to put some Vaseline because I put cocoa oil, coconut oil, lotion, like Jergens lotion and Nivea lotion, Dove lotion, nothing works. So I think I'm gonna try just pure Vaseline and see if that works. I don't know. And then I also noticed that I had like so, I have, okay, bloating and then terrible gas. Y'all, my farts was think so bad i'll be so embarrassed like i would be in a room <laughs> and then my husband would be like out you know just chilling and then he would come in the room and then i would just be praying like please don't smell it please don't smell it but then you know we have the fans and stuff or i'll be in the shower and i'll have the fart and then i'll just be like oh let me spray some spray something like it was horrible still is but it's getting a little better so terrible gas terrible i'm like and then you know i don't want to hold it in because then i feel bad and it'll hurt my stomach and stuff so no and then i also noticed that um i had heartburn as well um but that didn't last very long i would just take some tums and then that would be over with the biggest symptom guys was i lost 10 pounds i lost 10 pounds so Within this first trimester, I lost 10 pounds, so that's not bad. Uh, with my twin pregnancy, I lost 20 pounds within the first trimester, so losing 10 pounds is not bad at all. So I'm pretty sure I'll gain it back <laughs> with the Mountain Dew and the chips and the candy. I'll gain it back. So, guys, that is it for my first trimester symptoms. I'm ready for the second trimester. Um, I did notice that my doctor prescribed these pills. I can't pronounce it, so you can pronounce it. And basically, they're for nausea. These pills are a lifesaver. These wristbands didn't work. But these pills, if you're experiencing nausea, just you know, get try to see if you can um, your doctor can prescribe these pills. They work wonders, like. I take two at night and then I take one in the morning and it, it usually helps me throughout the entire day not to feel sick and stuff but other than that guys I'm super excited I'll be back for the second trimester and here's a little belly shot so our my stomach was literally this big already so nothing really changed and then here's the side view of it Here's a front view of it. Um, so it's getting around um, and things like that. So that's fine. Thank and you for watching and until my next video, bye.